people about researching. Anyway, so um, after I finished the stream, remember how I was telling you guys I conditioned this alligator leather wallet, which is looking quite nice. It feels a lot more supple. Um, and I was cleaning this eel skin wallet with the same spray. So this is a spray that I use, Angelus Leather Cleaner Conditioner. Now, the reason why I use this is that when I was looking online to how to condition leather, um, eel skin, the people were saying, oh, yeah, use a reptile leather conditioner. That's the way to go. Now, after I sprayed it, I did not realize over here it says not for use on soy leather or eel skin. Whoops, my bad. So um, I do have some dye transfer over here, and I just wanted to show it to you guys because from what I could see, people online, they didn't make any mention. I guess everybody else reads instructions. <laughs> but um, this one, I didn't read it because I thought, well, you know, it's an exotic skin. It's a leather cleaner. People say use this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. So when you're supposed to, when you're conditioning eel skin, you're supposed to use a cream-based cleaner because it is supposed to be safer um, and I did look it up this is one of the cleaners that I have I have three different uh, leather cleaners I have what's my calls it what is the other one that I have okay so I have this one McGuire's leather cleaner. I do recommend this for LB bags. Um, this actually works quite well. Um, and then I also have chamber lens, which I use for a lot of stuff. And then for snake skin and alligator, you can use this as well. So because I figured eel skin was an exotic, it's not a cow, right? It should be fine, but obviously I wasn't. So um, when I was looking at this, I don't know if it's just coincidence or what, but I feel like it's a little splotchy looking. And Although it sucks, you guys can might be able to see it, right? Although it sucks to see the splashiness, I wanted to show it to you guys because this is an incredible learning experience for me. So um, I'm going to try and do it right. I'm not saying the color is going to come back, but what I'm saying is that I want to use a cream conditioner instead of using that stuff. And hopefully, hopefully this is the way to go in the future. And I feel kind of like an idiot, but... What can I say? It's very important to kind of have these kind of experiences where you just say, yeah, I kind of screwed up that that wallet, but it's okay. You know, it's just a wallet. And whenever I look at this, I'll be like, man, you really got to read instructions. Um, so I'm going to just put this over here. I don't want to use too much over here. Let's see how this works out. Hopefully I don't have dye transfer. But uh, if I do, well, that's because... My dumb butt used the wrong thing, so you can also see, right, over here. I don't know if it was in the original one, but I like to think... Oh, see, we have more over here. I like to think that I caused it. Um, I didn't take a picture of this earlier. I should have. It kind of matches the color of the wallet, though, does it not? Hmm. Let's see here. So we'll try this. I really have nothing to lose at this point. And we have more dye coming out here. See? See on that? We will see how that looks like. It is bleeding. I can't tell you if the bleeding's happening because of what I used earlier or if it's because simply because of the age of this. Um, this is quite old and because this is a dyed leather, I wouldn't be surprised if the, the um, leather, just the color just started to bleed after a while. But whatever the case is, you know, I shouldn't have been using that. Oh, look at this. Um, I shouldn't have been using that cleaner anyway. So now I feel like I have more dye transfer on here. Eh, 
but it's okay. The fact that I'm getting so much dye transfer makes me kind of wonder if this came from the one earlier, the earlier cleaner, or if it's just a coincidence. Um, or if it's actually just the age of the sea. So much dye is coming out right now. Oops. What is that? Oh, the cap. I was wondering what that was. See how that? So I didn't put any um, conditioning spray on this side. I'm just trying to mop up the excess. So the conditioning spray is where my fingers are right here. I mean the conditioning cream. You can see all the dye transfer coming out. Okay, a lot of dyes coming out. Okay, so I feel like this is more dye than it came out originally. Makes me wonder, was it splotchy? Was it super splotchy before? Oh, see, if you look, yeah, this color's coming off. I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks even more splotchy now than it did prior. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What can I say? Okay. I don't know if it's just me. Because the color has to be coming from somewhere, right? You see that? Oh, and this dark spot was here for a while. So I don't think it's like a new thing. So overall, did I make it more splotchy? Yeah, I think the color's fading over here. But uh, it was a very, oh my goodness. It was a very eye-opening thing for me. Oh, do you see this? It looks even worse now. We'll see how it looks like when it dries. But um yeah, now I'm kind of thinking to myself, like, yikes, 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 yikes. I tried to do better on it, and I feel like I just made it worse. Yeah, so we will see what happens with this thing when it dries. You can see more splotchy over here. Uh, like I said, I don't think I don't think it was a cleaner. I actually think it was... It's actually the age of this wallet, but I could be wrong, you guys, if you guys want to tell me what you guys think, you know, feel free to let me know. Definitely open to hearing what your thoughts are about this. Um, I'm going to let this dry overnight, and you can see, look at all, look at all this dye that came out, jeez. Um, in this case, it just makes me kind of wonder, like, for this dye, because it's not, uh, I cleaned it with leather cleaner, actually. So I cleaned it with two different cleaners. This one wasn't recommended for snakeskin, so then I redid it with this one. And um, yeah, it's just like, I feel like this one is even worse. And um, who knows, who knows? But uh, it definitely has a weathered look to it now. And um, what can I say? I will carry this wallet when it dries, and I'll be like, yeah, you guys, this is one of the downsides about this kind of thing. Just a little. Oh no, what happened over here? Yeah, I don't know. It feels like there's a scratch here, right? 
that blotchiness. Ugh. It was looking so good, and then I looked at it, and I was like, what the f is going on here? So, this one, I feel like I just kind of ruined it in that sense, but um, I'll let it dry overnight, see how it looks like. Um, doesn't help that I took out so much color. But the fact that the color was already kind of like that, it makes me wonder, and this is just my speculation, if I carried it inside of a handbag, would it have rubbed off anyway? because it's kind of up there in age. I, I don't like the color red um, too much for this kind of thing. But um, if you look at snakeskin online, like some of the wallets, you'll see that they do have a mahogany uh, red color. It's just this one, I don't like the splotchiness of it. See? Oh no, uh, this one's actually meant for, it's not a furniture cleaner. Let's see, where is it? Leather milk. This is for handbags. So no, you're supposed to, you can use leather cleaner for, um, like nobody's cleaning a, a couch with this thing. Um, but you can use it for like handbags and small leather items. Uh, the leather items that I have, I've never had any dye transfer to this extent. Um, but then again, you know, the leather items that I do carry with me, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know how good that dye is compared to this dye. I mean... Yeah, um, but even when I was like cleaning this wallet, this leather wallet, you never saw any dye transfer. Only this one did, so it just makes me a little, a little wary. Um, however, we do know that the dye is clearly red, um, so it just kind of saddens me because it was like quite nice before, and then I I cleaned it, and now it looks a little bit more streaky. See that? I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh well, I will take it as is. Part of me wants to see if I keep conditioning, and I know this would not be recommended by anybody, but part of me wants to see, like, if I condition it, what will happen to the leather um, moving forward? You see where I'm getting at? Like, will the color keep coming off more and more? Who knows? But, uh, I don't like how it looks like right now. Then again, sometimes when I look at leathers, uh, when it when it's wet, it looks uh, slightly different than when it does when it dries. So I think I have to let this fully dry and see how this thing looks like. Maybe, just maybe, I can salvage it somehow. We will see. Um, either way, incredible learning experience for me. Unfortunately, my little thought about uh, salvaging it the other way didn't work out. And yeah, see these little dots over here? This was already there. This little dot was already there as well. But yeah, I should have taken a picture of the before and after, and then you guys could have seen how it looked like. You can see splotchiness right over here, splotchiness right over here, and right over here. So I take this as like a what not to do with your leather items. Um, don't use the wrong cleaner, and uh, if you do have something that is kind of up there in age, be a little mindful. Uh, when I was looking at the previous stream, I was kind of looking at it, and I thought that it did look like it was a little discolored, but it looks like obviously because you can see all this... Uh, dye transfer is just getting worse and worse. So I think I'm going to stop over here and just pray, just pray when I wake up tomorrow, it's not too bad. Let's see. Yeah, we will see. We will see. Um, but that splotchiness over there, arg, part of me wants to be like, grr, scrub the thing. Um, you're not actually supposed to use too much leather cleaner on this stuff either, because if you do, um, it doesn't allow the skin to breathe. And I know I use a lot of leather cleaner on here. Yeah. But uh, we will see. Let's see. Over here. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky about this stuff. So, yeah. Again, I'll just let this sit overnight. See how this looks in the morning. And no matter how it looks like, splotchy or not splotchy, I chalk this up as a very important learning experience for me. I do really like uh, eel leather a lot. I think it's really nice and it's really soft, even though it seems kind of funny for me to talk about it like this to you guys. You can see, you can see that splotch over here, see that? But um, other than that, oh my gosh, look at all the splotches. Other than that, the feel of the leather is quite nice. Um, I wish I didn't. See, here's the thing, like, it's hard for me to kind of gauge how much damage I did, because when I see over here, it looks like it's about the same color as over here. See? 
this is over here. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being so nitpicky. Maybe it's 3 a.m. and I really should go to sleep. <laughs> Instead of thinking about this leather wallet. Anyway, so I'm going to talk to you guys later. And uh, just be mindful about... Uh, when you condition things like eel leather. Will this prevent me from picking up another eel leather item? No way! Um, but I will definitely be more mindful about uh, conditioning in the future. I think it's going to eventually grow on me. Okay, you guys. See ya.